So my first look at the latest B-Beat firmware update. And if we check out on the info there, we can see we're now running version 4.02. And we're led to believe there's some improvements regarding the live lock button to enhance performance and stop nasty things happening during a live show. Well, I didn't find that to be the case. Um, let's just get back out and have a look. So go to my playlists. We're going to run video one of two, uh, our playlist on there. Um, so we enter live mode. You can do this either before we start or whilst we're um, playing the show. Okay, so we're locked. Now we're in live mode, whatever that's supposed to do, and hit play. Where we go, we're in the show. First song's playing, the audio's muted at the minute, the background's playing. Great stuff. Get to the next song, double click to skip to the next song. Um, obviously, we play that through in real time. Here's song number two, Happy Days. Song number three. All right, song number three's playing. Somebody in the band's gone wrong. We need to stop the song. Uh, the band keeps playing, but we need to resume, you know, keep the show going. So it was, as before, pressing stop once, we'll pause it. The second time, we'll stop the video. We actually rewind to frame one of the video, which is a blank frame. I want the holding screen on, so there's something on the screen while we get to the end of this song that we just uh, messed up. So the third press, there's my holding screen. Good stuff. So we finished that song with a holding screen there. Now we want to pick up where we left off. So... I try and dive back into video set. Oh, I can't get there because I'm in live mode. So what have I got to do? I've got to unlock it again, faff about all that, then go in, then find the song that was on, and then resume where we left off. So to me, whatever improvements have been done on the live uh, lock mode have not really benefited any help. The only thing I have noticed which could be of help if we go into live mode is if we press stop, uh, do no mistake, we paused it, stop a second time. And then instead of pressing stop a third time, I use the arrows to skip to the next track so it's on standby ready. Then I get my holding screen up and then we're ready. Away we go. But it's so easy to stop three times to get my holding screen back up in a panic or accidentally hit the button too many times. Then when I want to go back in, oh no, I'm in live mode. I've got to unlock it. Okay, yes. Back in, resume, find the song. Um, not great. I shall be using live mode at the moment. They need to still work on some improvements. Come on, guys, get it sorted out. 